So I've been racking my brain and racking my brain and racking my brain trying to figure out how I can get around this thing with my mom's friends. As in, you know, not be here, but keep Omar safe. And I think it, it's not practical. Not practical. I thought about it, thought about it, thought about it. It's not practical for me to take Omar with me on a Sunday. Maybe it'll rain, it'll be postponed. Do I think it's wise for my mom? to set up something like this just a few days after she's coming home from the mental hospital. And you have to figure it's really coming home from the mental hospital after about six weeks because she was only home for two days after being in it three weeks. But then combined with the regular hospital, it wound up almost being, a, you know what I mean? It's a long time. No, I don't. I don't. We've gone this long without the railing. And I've made it perfectly clear to all of you from day one, even while my mom's locked up in the mental hospital, that I would prefer to have these people not finish the railing. I would prefer to have my mom have that other person who apparently supposedly worked with that concrete or whatnot and knows what he's doing. It's not up to me. I thought about it. I'm racking my brain. This is what the plan is going to be. I'm not just going to leave Omar here by himself. My mom was going to be cooking them dinner. And I'm sure, you know, my mom will buy all the ingredients. She's going to be on her own on that. I'm not helping. Um, I'm not helping pick out the ingredients. I'm not helping at all. I'm not going to be here. I don't want to be here. It's not, as I pointed out, it's not that I don't like these people per se. I just don't like the whole situation. I haven't liked the whole situation from day one, and I'm not alone, you know, in that I've had shared this with other people who have not, you know, my friends who haven't liked the situation. And then my mom could save face. These people don't know I have no life. My mom could just say she had plans. These people don't know anything about me. They don't know that I don't have a life. They don't know that I don't have a boyfriend or they, you know, they... I'm going to leave Mama behind. He's not going to run loose, though. He's going to stay in here. Hopefully by then, since it's over a week away, he won't have the cone on his head. Um... Maybe by then he won't even be on the, med the drops anymore. He only had the minor Cornell else, I remember, and it was minor caused, it was Dr. Error, it was caused by one of the stitches going into his eye, which the doctor predicted might happen, but he had to have the stitches, you know, you're in a rock and hard place. And the, the thing got biopsied, it's B9, so that's good. Hopefully, if my thing on my chest up here has to be biopsied, they'll have the same result. <laughs> I've had to yet again postpone. And you, you think, oh, you're never going to do it. Oh, of course I am. I get the woman who takes care of Angel, you know, mothering me and, and being like, this is perfect opportunity to get back in, you know, to really do this now, Laura, and then could I know what happened? Omar, right? Not my fault. Omar needing to be constantly watched. Um. Well, that's a good solution, huh? Where was I going to go on a Sunday with Omar? If I leave him here with instructions, he's not to come out. Remember, he's going to be nervous. 
Do you think I'm going to... No way! When that guy's outside with his drill or whatnot, he has to have the door partly open. He comes in for whatever reason. And just and it only takes one time. You can say be careful when you come in because Omar might run out the door. But without me here to make sure... No, I just don't trust it. And Omar's getting over all this... this problems with his eye or whatever, he'll be safer in my bedroom. He'll be safer in my bedroom. My mom could come in here and feed him. She can come in here and talk to him. She can come in here and let him out to feed him and he could stay in the cage all day. Does it suck? Yes. But I can't have him running through my room. He'll go to the bathroom on the floor. My mom can take him out on the leash. She'll have instructions. You can take them out to pee or poo or whatever. Um, they don't generally come. They don't come early in the morning. They come in the afternoon. So I will make sure he's done his poo-poo before I leave. Um, and I will take off it right before they're going to be here. And that's it. I don't owe these people anything. I certainly don't owe them her getting my phone number for my mom who's locked up in a mental hospital and who knows better than to give out my phone number. You get it? Normally my mom would know better. Normally she would at least say, I can't give you Laura's phone number unless I ask Laura's permit. No, she gave it to her and I'm pissed. But, did I call up my mom and say that to my mom? No. Selena did, but, you know, coming from Selena, it's not so bad, you know, for me, it'd be like, Mom, why did you do that, you know, it's like, you know, bad, I just, it was better to come from Selena, and I just wanted to know what I, confirm what I already suspected, you know, my mom's not even out of the fucking hospital, Selena's sick over it, she's like, you want me to call that woman and give her, no, That'll make things worse. I just don't want to have anything to do with these people. I don't have to. Remember, originally, the woman I can't stand, who's, who's, they're, they're good friends. I'd never met this one before. And I was fine with the guy coming to do the railing and, and, and us cooking them to the whole family dinner, meeting the whole family, you know, friends coming over for dinner. And and the second time I was fine, but when he's still not done the second time, yeah, I'm pissed. And then the shit hit the fan and I'm more pissed just at the whole situation. But originally, when they were coming over, my mom's like, the one that can't stand, let's call her Beth. You know, Beth wanted to come too. She knows that they're, of course she knows mom, because they're friends. Um, and I'm like, Mom, you know that Beth can't come. Or you want Beth to come, I'll take off. I mean, but I'm supposed to be meeting your friends. You know that, that she's the one that calls him bad mother, you know. And she's like, I know, I told her no. But, you know, my mom's a people pleaser and she likes to appease her friends and, and they can take advantage. But, <sighs> that woman's constantly trying to get my mom to turn on me. My mom turns on me, and then the woman could come and stay here. So, but no, I don't think it's wise of my mom to do this just a few days after she gets out from so like six weeks in two different mental hospitals. Combined plus a regular hospital. All combined, it comes to like six weeks. No, I don't. But she already arranged it, and it's her business, but I'm not going to be involved. As far as Selena's concerned, under the circumstances with everything that happened, and the, my mom's just been, you know, they should bring the friggin' dinner. But they're not going to offer to do that. I'm sure in there is he's already not charging that much. Yeah, you're right. 
He's not charging that much, yet we have nothing to compare it to. We don't know what a professional would have charged and how fast a professional would have got it done, number one. Number two, we would have avoided all the aggravation. And number three, it wouldn't have been left that first time without a railing. It could have led to my mom being seriously fucking hurt. You know what I mean? She could have had branches poking into her neck on the way down from that fall. She could have whatever. Those branches were poke, poked out. She could have hit her. We don't know it's down there. You know, it was serious. And my enemy leader made it out to not be serious. Or my enemy pretending to be my friend Karen. Saying, oh, oh that, that's a big deal. She didn't fall. That I, I know. And I kind of suspect that, that the new, brand new Ryan is not really Ryan. But in any case, it doesn't matter because I'm never reading his comments again. I said earlier there were like at least like 36, 38, something like that. Big, huge amount of comments from him. I deleted them all without reading them. I just removed them. They show on the side of that one page. Any of you have YouTube videos, you know it has that one page that lists all your brand new comments all at once on one page. Um, you can also go to individual videos and prove or not approve comments, but on that one page it's awesome because they're all the new ones are right there. See the R, remove. See the R, remove. I didn't read any of them. That's what I do with Stoney, and that's what I do with false alarms and his various characters. what I do with Richard Picks as well. Karen firmly believes that Sarah interrupted was never that, that she was stony in disguise. Even though he vehemently denied it. Like I, like I would pretend to be a woman. Yeah, well, Karen noticed similarities in Sarah interrupted's comments in your comments. Similarity in word structure, what you know, sentence structure and the way you're wording things and what also. So Karen was Karen was forced away from my channel by one of my enemies who hacked her account twice. And twice was enough for her to never come back. But we're still email friends and she still will 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 watch my videos from time to time and just give me comments through through my email. I don't have anything to do with my YouTube channel, like publicly posting comments or whatnot, because she was hacked once. You know? and I believe she was hacked because I got proof of it. She was couldn't believe the things that I was saying about her, that Selena was saying about her. She couldn't believe it, and she sent me solid proof. See, look, I can't, I can't, I cancel my accounts, and she was forced to do it fucking twice. She thought she could come back under an alias of you know who and it didn't work. Because certain enemies of mine cannot stand for anybody to like me, for anybody to compliment me, for anybody to be kind towards me. It's really sickening. Really sickening. Anyway, so that's the plan. My mom's just, you know, she wants this. Hopefully the railing will get done. There's yet another trip to Home Depot because yet another thing that he forgot to get the first two times. Remember, the first time we should have been, that should have been, I shouldn't have had to go to Home Depot again. He shouldn't, if he was a professional, he would, you know what I mean? He's not a professional, but he forgot stuff. And we had to go again. It won't surprise me in the least if my mom has to go again. She can, I will get her cash and she can, you know, she can go or she can send them with the cash and they can bring the receipt back or what have you. I said, I don't hate these people, but associating with them for two, you know, the first time wasn't a whole day. The second time was, was, uh, um, was a good whole day, you know, from like 1 all the way to 9.30 at night or something. 
the last hour and a half was spent making sure, because he wasn't able to put stuff, get the things into the cement, um, that he's going to blame on the cement, and the Home Depot guy's going to blame on him, and who knows. Anyway, the whole last hour and a half was spent making sure that, because it wasn't secure into the cement with the little stick, the little screw things, he had to attach it somehow to the house. We had to buy extra stuff, whatever, you know. And, and, and I had someone come over here saying, who was it that said, oh, they're, like, oh, they're like, that looks horrible. I'm like, it's not done. Of course it looks horrible. It's not fucking finished. <laughs> It's not even legal how it's been all these weeks, you know. The way that railing has been like that these past six weeks is illegal. I got a dog. I said it wrapped in my brain. But that's, that's good, right? Omar doesn't need to be running loose through the house when that guy who's outside with his, his drill has to plug in in the inside, which means the door has to be partially open. Plus, if he comes in to get water, to go to the bathroom, he would have to do whatever. He's, people don't always think. And he, you know what I mean? It only takes one time. Last time I, prov I made sure, even though I'd warned him, I warned him, don't just come in here knock first or whatever don't just come in because Omar can run be standing there and run right out do you think he listen no do you think I listen no people tend to not listen when you warn them about your pet they don't take it seriously you know I found that to be the case I found that to be the case when my mom's church friend months ago a few months ago whatever was we were taking my mom on a Sunday to the regular hospital instead of having to call my mom. My mom agreed to go on her own. You know, the church woman has known before, I know, I warned her before, but Omar will run out the door. And then she's allergic to Omar, so what does she do? She suddenly decides to leave, and what do you think happens? She didn't give me any warning, and Omar followed her outside. And she, believe me, the woman was shaken up. She didn't think that would happen, even though she's been warned. Omar followed her outside. And I said to the woman, I like, I'm like, you know, I, I'm panicked because Omar can run into the friggin' street and that's it. And I said, I said, we, I'm sorry, but we have to, I'm, I know you're allergic, whatever. We've got to pretend we're letting him into your car. We've got to do it so I can get him. I can't get him. It's not like he was wearing a leash or anything. You get it? But I warn these people, my mom's friends or whatnot, and they about my dog, and they don't listen. So why am I going to trust a whole fucking family here? I'm not. My mom is going to have instructions. I'm taking off. She can tell them whatever. She can tell them the truth. She can tell them a lie. But I, Omar, is staying in this friggin' room. Okay. If he's, if he's does still have the, if hopefully he won't still have the cone on him by then. But you know what I mean? Can you imagine? We're all, I'm all upset and so was the church woman and she couldn't stay in this house because she's allergic to the dog and, and she knows better than to run out the door and then she's agitated by my mom. She's agitated whatever and she goes and runs out the door. My dog follows her out there. And I was, I was already in a panic over my mom, because of course my mom doesn't, my mom's going to agree to go to the hospital, but she really doesn't want to go, and she's going to change her mind, she's going to say, well, I need to take this, and I you know, she's just stalling. And my dog ran out the door, just as I had warned, you know? Luckily, he didn't run into the street. He likes to go into the car. You know what I mean? So we got him. He wasn't coming. He's not trained. And we, I said, we, we got to trick him. I said, I'm sorry. But, you know, I said to her, you know, we got to have him come into this car just for a second just so I can get him. So he'll come. He didn't have a leash. He didn't have anything. There's no, even if he had a leash, he's faster. I can't get him. He's fast. So on top of being all upset over my mom, I had that happen. And that could have wound up being a tragedy. You know?
The month should not even be having these people here so soon. That I'm thinking of just her. And she's going to be doing it all on her own. Because I'm not going to be involved. I've already decided I'm not going to be involved. I, don't, I have the right to not be involved. You know? I have the right to not be involved. Mom has the right to not be involved, doesn't she? Doesn't she? Yes. Yes. I don't hate these people. I don't like them. I don't dislike them. You know what I mean? I just don't want to be involved. I was involved for two days. The first time wasn't a whole day, but so what? It should have been. It was delusional for that guy to have thought. And even when I knew, I'm like, Mom, they're coming over here this late. How they, I said to her, how are they going to get everything? To, it doesn't make sense. But I'm not going to just make waves. I just pissed. He spent the majority of the time trying in the dark to, to get those things into the thing and you know and it wound up it, my mom could have got hers mm -hmm. the first time we gave him a hundred dollars because he was there four hours but that included eating the delicious dinner that mm -hmm. I had mo mostly me had prepared my mom had helped but I had done most of it I'd done nine, I mean, I'd done the majority of it. Plus, I'm the one who had to go to Home Depot, and that took over an hour. You know what I mean? So, the whole, but he's not making much per hour. It's $25 an hour. But then the second time, he was here for a lot longer, and we still only gave him 100 bucks. but that was because he wasn't done. And even me, being, being the thing, thinking that that's not a lot, he's here like eight hours or something. I'm like, why don't we give him 150? And then I was, no, we're going to give him 100, and then we'll, get, we'll give him 100 when he comes again the third time. Okay. So again, in the end, we're not paying him that much, but look at all the fucking aggravation. You know. Be better off paying double that to a professional, get it done in one day. My mom never would have fallen off the, you know, it's just it, not worth it. And if that woman insists on talking to me, my mom's going to have to. Sorry. I know my mom's mentally ill and locked up in the middle hospital, but you know what? Mm -hmm. She can't avoid everything. She's just going to have to say, Laura doesn't want to talk mm -hmm. to you. Mm -hmm. And all she has to say to these people, I don't owe them anything. I have plans. I have plans. Now, will they suspect that I took off intentionally? Oh, I'm sure they will. Oh, I'm quite certain, especially if I don't refuse to talk to the woman ahead of time because she, I'm pissed off that she went behind my back and, and gets my number from my mom, who's locked up in the mental hospital. And, I mean, come on, I don't, she didn't do it before. She does it after I have my friend call and say whatever. I don't even know exactly what Selena said. I don't think the railing thing was brought up, but whatever. She doing tug up 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 up. Uh oh. What's that? Oh, that's just oh, gunky. Baby gunky in the good eye. Baby gunky in the good eye. In the good eye. In the good eye. <sighs>
Go ahead on the bed. Go ahead on the bed. Let me look. Let me look at the eye. <gasps> look at the eye. Poor baby. Poor baby. I just got over the one coil also and have to go and get that bump removed. But you know what? The bump needed to be removed because the bump's just going to get bigger and it's right under his eye. We were, it was touching his eyeball, so it had to be removed. Top of it was touching his eyeball. Sucks for you. So I met the vet yesterday. Um, this woman was asking, you know, because Omar is and whatever, and I'm like, and she's like, does he bite? I'm like, no, he's wearing that because the eye had problems with his eye and whatever. And then I was talking about um, that that he has cataracts. She's like, how old is he? I'm like, nine. She's like, he hasn't had cataracts that young? My dog didn't get cataracts. He was like 15 or something. So then I asked the vet, is it normal? Is that normal for pugs to get cataracts? She's like, what's normal or not normal? I went all these years. I had Omar since he was a seven-week ball of nothing. Little ball of, ball of fluff. All head. When you were a little boy, you were just a big head. You had your body and your giant head. Um, no health problems for the first nine years of his life. I mean, you've got to consider yourself lucky of that, right? I mean, no health problems, nothing. Nothing, even, not, only minor. And the minor wasn't even, you know, nothing. No, no health problems with this dog for nine years. Of course, you hope your dog doesn't get older and have repeated health problems, you know, major, that cost a lot of money. I'm not going to tell you what this has already cost between the last time and the visit to the ophthalmologist and the repeated vet visits. Um, it's, it's up there, big time. But so is Angel's. All those vet visits, Angel would have needed operation that cost over two thousand. But all of Angel's vet visits combined was like a couple thousand. See, I'll repeat. I don't know what people do who don't have the money. Do they just have to let their dogs die or something? Angel hadn't got rid of those stones. She was lucky she didn't need the operation, but if she she would die, you know. And when he has a corneal ulcer, he would lose his eye if you can't take him to get rid of the corneal ulcer. But it's all expensive. All the medication is expensive. Repeatedly going to the vets every two or three days is expensive. I mean, come on. people's families be hurt? I don't fucking care. Why should I have to care? They're not my friends. I could really hurt their feelings and tell them off. I could really hurt their feelings and and even though I'm sure my mom just wants the company or whatnot and it's her little to Selena, well why don't I just, if Larry doesn't want to make the dinner, why don't I just take him out for dinner? You do that mom, you do whatever you want. I, it's, it's nothing to do with me making the dinner or not. I don't, as far as I'm concerned, Exactly what you said to me when you were out of your mind. The truth came out. Why can't he come by himself? Why does the whole family have to come here for dinner? Why does the family have to come, period? She, will she say that to them? No. She's used to being walked all over and beaten down in this life and whatnot. And she's not going to say what she really feels. But I know that's how she felt because when she was sick it came out. exactly how I feel. They came for dinner twice. They had a fantastic dinner prepared by yours truly twice. They loved it. The whole family loved it. Twice. I put every effort into it, including cleaning the house spotless, okay? The second time, I mean, the, it, was, it was the first time, whatever. My mom went to church. 
I was up cleaning the whole house. My mom was at church. Okay. I spent all day cleaning the house until they got here at, you know, and I thought it was the most ridiculous thing for them to come here this late. And and he actually said to me, oh, it'll take me about three hours to do this. What a, what a fucking ridiculous joke that was. It turned out, I told you, he didn't even bring the right drill bit. Okay? It was a joke. It's just all a joke. It's just... But it's not practical for me to... Is it feasible? It's feasible for me to do it. It's not practical for me to take Omar with me. I'm trying to think, what the fuck can I do with the dog and me? There's nowhere to go. There's nowhere to... No. Omar's going to stay here. But he is not going to be running loose around the house. My mom will have specific instructions. He's to be fed in here. He's to go back in the cage after he's eaten. You are to take him out in the yard only to go to the bathroom. And that will be it. And the fact that their kids like the dog means nothing to me. It's irrelevant and to me. I don't care. Okay? Oh, so going to be running loose through the house just because they're kids who shouldn't be here anyway as far as I'm concerned. Neither should the wife. It should just be him coming to finish the fucking railing that should have been done the, the second time they were here. It would have been done had he known what he was doing. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with it. Start that, 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 I'm going to walk out the door. Like my ex shelter friend had told me years ago. Or just if you feel agitated or frustrated with your mom, just walk out the door. And I'm like, yeah, it's not easy to do, shelter friend, in the middle of fucking winter or something. You know, it's, it's not so, it's easier said than done. This is a non-discussion. My mom and I are not going to discuss this. This is how it's going to be. I'm not going to be here. I highly doubt my mom remembers anything. She tends to not remember short-term distance, you know what I mean? And especially when it happens right when she's in the middle of break, she doesn't remember. I don't have to be friends with her friends. They're not, I, I don't, it's just, it upsets me too much. The whole thing with this all happening when I wound up having the elder abuse folks turning and it just, you know what I mean? It's like, and my mom did that thing the next day calling her old co-work and all this crap. It just, I don't want to deal with it. fact is, my mom sounds good, but she's still just been six weeks, pretty much, away from home for six weeks, and to have them come in here immediately, as far as I'm concerned, it shouldn't even have been discussed while my mom's in the mental hospital, and I know I'm not alone in my sediments, and I wouldn't be alone if other people, you know, there are people on this planet who totally agree with me about all of this. It doesn't matter to me who agrees. You know what I mean? I already have Karen 100% agreeing with me and Selena 100% agreeing with me. And you bet your sweet bottom if I... I'm not going to tell Joe about all this, but he would agree with me as well. And the woman who takes care of Angel agrees with me. The first words out of her mouth when I was telling her the freaking story is like, it's like, why does the whole family have to come for dinner for him to do the railing and get, you know, no shit? But my mom wants friends. Selena saw it instantly. She's like, yeah, I was talking. She's like, she wants friends. And they're her friends. And she feels, you know, they've been through a lot. Yeah, and you haven't, Mom. And I haven't. <laughs> I'm 
That's okay, Mama. You handle it. You handle it. The dog's not going to take much work. They know, I think they know I'm on disability or whatever, but I mean, they don't know. I had plans. It's a weekend. It's a weekend and I had plans. That's, that's all they need to know. They don't need to know shit. Will they suspect the truth? Probably. Who cares? I, I vowed after everything that went down and all that shit and I eased up in my mom's conversation where she's lying through her teeth and not telling the truth how she had started it all. And just trying to elicit sympathy from these people, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Meanwhile, a few minutes prior, she was saying, "I don't even want anything to do with them. She's they're too religious, and I don't want anything." To, you know what I mean? And in her illness, in her breakdown. But I'm the one caught up in it, and all I was doing was coming to their defense, even though I'm I'm pissed too that they're taking so long. You don't just just say adios when we've invested so much time and money and everything into them doing it. You know, it, it's. It makes me want to pull out my hair. So, that, that's where we go. I'm going to take off for the day. And I'm just going to stay here. But he's going to stay safely in the cage in my room. The cage is not going to be out in the living room. Because if it's out in the living room, and, you know, people are trying to watch TV or whatnot. That, that you know, um, he'd be screaming in the cage. That would That wouldn't be good. One thing about my mom, if I pretty much put my foot down, you are not to have this dog out of this room unless it's to go and take him out to go to the bathroom every few hours, whatever. Okay? I think she'll listen to me. She's not going to think, oh, Laura will never know. No, she'll be afraid because if something happened, and then, you know, if something happened, like, Roma runs out the door and gets hurt or whatever because that guy forgets and, and comes in like he's done the first time and the second time, even though I warn him about Omar, you know. I see the dynamics. These people, you know, are not the kind that are, like, going to be borrowing money or things like that. Like, the one that, I, that calls up here and has the nerve to badmouth me to my mom. The one that her and her husband borrowed money from my mom to the tune of, like, $7,000. But slowly, over the course of years, you know. But as I've pointed out to you guys numerous times, Dad, Auntie couldn't stand the woman in live. Auntie can't stand the woman. I doubt Live Auntie likes being referred to as Live Auntie, but what are you going to do? I care with that. Like I said, I'm grateful to Live Auntie that she did the right thing finally and relinquished all, you know. It's me who should be the healthcare proxy, period. It's me who's hands on. It's me who's aware. Speaking of that, my plan is to. I was going to do it and provide it to this hospital, but they didn't keep my mom very long. My mom sounds good, so, you know. And the more someone's locked up in a mental hospital, as this happened to my mom so many times over these last few years, they are just, the insurance company's not inclined to want to, you know, to approve it, to keep wanting to pay or whatnot, or agreeing to pay. It's, because the mental hospitals always have to justify keeping the patient. And I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure it's not happy that my mom spends almost you know, three weeks, a month, whatever, between the regular hospital and the mental hospital, and then two days later she's back in another one. No. So. And they reduced her meds in here, so I'm happy about that. And I met him in person, and I explained the whole situation about the, everything, the lithium, toxicity, all this crap, and 
And the thing is, she does sound good, but we all know by now she's as fragile as a butterfly. That's the best analogy I can come up with. She's as fragile as a butterfly. But she's got to understand I'm my own person, and she can't force me to be here and play nice with her friends when I'm, I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off that the woman got my phone number when I clearly didn't want to talk to her. I wouldn't have got Selena to call her um, just as a courtesy of the woman to let her know what was happening with my mom. You know? I don't like that. I would never do that. If somebody didn't want to talk to me and had their friend talk to me, you think I would go and 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 and, and somehow get that person's phone number? It's not right to do that. So we just add that to the list of things that piss me off about this whole situation. originally planned to take Oma with me, but that's not just, that can't, that's not going to happen. There's nowhere for us to go. I'm happy for her. She's coming home. Like I said, she sounds good, but She's coming home and then she's going to plan this whole big... I'm sure it's going to be stressful for her, especially if I'm not involved. Oh well. You did it. It's not like it's urgent to have the railing done when we haven't had it. It's been like that for six weeks. What's the difference? You know? Longer than six weeks. No, this has nothing to do. My mom, of course, we want the railing done. No, my mom just wants to have her friends come over here. You know? Again, they're okay people. If the, if the whole railing fiasco was out of the equation, my mom would just have wanted me to meet her friends and have them over for dinner. It would have been another story. That is not how things went down, and at this point, I'm tired of it. <laughs> Don't want to upset my mom, but I'm not going to be involved in this shit. She can do whatever she wants. Because remember, even when it comes to paying them, she always like, Lori, what should I pay them? What should I do? What should I, you know what I mean? No arranging ahead of time. or It just, it, oh, it just pisses me off to no end. cannot describe the degree to which this whole railing shit my mom meant just pisses me off to <laughs> Oh, God.